Replacing the timer motor is very simple. First, you will want to unplug your power cord. And you may find your old motor prior to 1999 will look like this. 2000 to 2003, it looks like this. And anything newer than 2003 will look like this. And this is our replacement. You do not need to turn the water off to change the timer motor, just like I said, remember to unplug the electric. Now, you're going to need to work on this from the back, and I'm going to cheat and spin mine around. You wouldn't be able to do this without disconnecting uh, some plumbing. Now, you'll either have four screws or newer models have two screws. And some models the cover goes straight up and you don't have to take this back plate off. And you need a uh, small Phillips. And you just want to take the small screws that are on either side of the motor out. And just note that they are very small and they'll come right out. these guys it's hard to find replacements for them so now we have the motor out and if you're lucky you have wire nuts on your two power wires some models will have crimped on in which case you can uncrimp them with a pair of pliers and then pull them apart because what you want to do is end up with just your power wires kind of twisted together just a little bit. Okay, so we have our power wires free. You'll see where the uh, motor gear just sits in that hole. You do not need to take this metal plate off and you're better off if you don't. Then you don't have to worry about the gears or anything that's behind that. Now, you get your new replacement motor. Two wires kind of slightly started. Take your old wire nuts or some new ones if you had to get them. And just spin it on there until it starts tightening up. Do the same with the other. Now, this would be the same if you were using the 24 volt motor it will have blue wires instead of black and you'll just have your two wires coming from your transformer and you'll note there is a green ground wire here but you don't need to touch that that just stays stuck to the plate and there's no alignment so just put the motor back in place getting your uh, gear in the hole so your two little holes line up and this is the tricky part kind of trying to keep that screw on and get it started together and I plug it in and you'll see it start spinning right here in the back go ahead and slip your cover back on and remember to set the time of day in the front 
and you're done. It's really not hard. You can do it.